All right, we're going to San Antonio Station. That's the Centro, and then we're going to connect to Parque Berrio. I'm actually, ah oh, man, whatever. I'll turn the thing. Is whatever. <laughs> so I'm actually meeting with my girlfriend, her, her mom. We have to go buy an elephant in downtown because I broke the elephant in the house. So we're going to go check that out, and I'll show you around downtown. Stay tuned. All right, coming out of the station. You gotta take a left and go to Nekia. Nekia, I'm going to Parque Berrio. That's where all the statues are that are famous. The, the big statues, the big, the big fat statues, that's where they are, Parque Berrio. So let's go there. We go down these stairs. The Metro of Medellin, it's very simple to navigate. It's not that hard. You just gotta get used to it and you got it. So on this side of the metro, they have a pharmacy. On the other side, they have clothing stores. There's a Ghana if you need to recharge your phone. I actually need to recharge my phone, but I'm on the wrong side of the metro. So let's walk this way, and we just get in line to get into the metro. All right, guys, literally the next station over. So you get on, and you get off, and then you come down these stairs. Real simple, but be careful around this area, yeah? Check out the market down here. All these uh, knockoff clothes and everything. My my girlfriend and her mom wants to go shopping for uh, blouses, but I'm pretty sure they're not gonna shop here. I would. I may buy a couple shirts here. For all you guys who can't live without donuts, here's the Dunkin' Donuts right here in the station. <laughs> so I'm outside the station. I'm, I'm right below the station, Berrio. And there's always these groups of guys here underneath the station just always here and i think what they do is they do like trade and like uh i might have a watch i'll trade that watch for a ring that kind of stuff it's mostly older guys they just hang out here i think they just do trading very cool oh yeah ah, okay why no i think i think that's what they do here yeah they're trading this good upon ah no i'll try to ask somebody Hey, yeah, I think I think it's watches. Why not? Por qué siempre están por acá? Trabajando, pero cómo hacen un truco, cómo no, no, pero cambiando los relojes, ¿qué? Sí, se cambia, se compra. Ah, cambia, compra. Bueno, gracias. Okay, so that's what it is. They 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 do exchanges. They trade right so anyways i think it's, it's mostly for like older guys who want to get out of the house and just have something to do my girlfriend's grandpa is that way he'll get a watch he'll go and trade it for a hat you know all kinds of stuff not a hat but like a ring or another kind of watch all right so now we're looking for el centro astorio astorio that's where my girlfriend's at right now so let's go try to find it stay tuned buenas Donde está el centro Astorio? Astor Astorio. Astoria. Sí, Astoria. Donde está el río Paulín. Por, por acá arriba. Bueno, gracias. <laughs> so people are super friendly, especially if you're downtown. You want to ask the vendors, like the people selling stuff for directions. You can ask someone on the street, but it's it's safer asking the people that are selling something, like you know the, these guys right here, just to be safe, yeah. Anyways, he said it's for up ahead going towards uh, Junil, so that's where we're walking. But in downtown, they have all kinds of stores, all kinds of stuff to buy. You want to buy cheap stuff, you come here. Buenas, el centro comercial Astoria. Ah, bueno, gracias. Everybody's super friendly, guys, I'm telling y'all. So there it is, right outside the station. If you can see this house here, that's the culture house of Medellin. There's a station and the, the mall's over here. So let's go try to find my girlfriend. Let's see if she'll do a face reveal, which I doubt it. She don't like being on camera. Always fruit. There's always fruit for sale in Medellin, in Colombia. These are delicious. People take these on road trips and they break the skin, they suck on it. It's like, um, it's almost like sucking on a uh, hard candy. But it's natural. Buenas, ¿cómo se llama esas? Mamoncillo. Mamoncillo, para chupar, ¿sí o no? Eh, cuando uno está viajando por el carro, 
Eh, <laughs> <laughs> si. Mamoncia. So it's, it's to break the skin, you suck on it like a hard candy, but it's natural, it's a fruit. So let's go inside the malls. Here we are. Mamoncia. <laughs> In mamor, mamar is to, to suck, mamar. So there you go. All right, let's find these people. We're in the downtown shopping center. La Feria de la Tarjeta. Huh, interesting. All right, let me see what store they told me they're in. I'll be back. I absolutely hate shopping. I hate malls, but I love searching. And, and this is like, an, like, for me, it's like an assignment. I have to find my girlfriend. And that's, that entertains me versus going with my girlfriend while she's shopping and sitting outside and waiting for her to get done shopping. That kills me. The only good, the good thing is she doesn't like shopping either, so that's a good thing. Her mom, I think she likes shopping. We'll see. All right, let's find this place. Oh. Te conozco or no? Ah, or no? Buenas. ¿Dónde está la tienda Brahma? Brahma. 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 Es que me viste con ese cara de susto, yo como te conozco. <laughs> bueno. <laughs> she got afraid, man, when I when I did the camera. She she looked at me like, I, like she knew me or something. All right, stay tuned. All right, good news. I found them. I found them. All right. I got now. I have to, now I'm the uh, the bag carrier. That's the thing about being a guy with women. But it's cool. It's cool. We don't work out for nothing. Anyways, they don't like me on camera, so I'm not gonna show them. But. Stay tuned because I might see some interesting, st interesting stuff in downtown and show you guys. So stay tuned. So now comes the part of waiting outside the store while they try on clothes. The wait continues. After this, we're gonna go eat lunch, menu of the day somewhere. I'll show you what we're eating. It's gonna be delicious. I'm starving. I, had, I haven't had breakfast today. So it's already 1.30 and I haven't eaten so far. I'm doing a, what's called intermittent fasting to help drop, the, drop a little bit of weight. But I'll, I'll eat a good, healthy lunch. You'll see. I'll show you on a second. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So this is the Calle Junil. This is where they have all the stores. You can walk. There's no cars coming by. And right here is a famous restaurant called La Hacienda. If you want to try Bandeja Paisa, it's a good spot. They have good ribs too. So now we're going to now we're going to a place where my girlfriend always eats lunch because she works right here. Let's go see if it's good food. Stay tuned. This is Astor. This is a very traditional bakery kind of sweet shop from 1930. Their famous uh, treat is a little frog. Go try it. It's nice. I lost my, my girlfriend and her mom. Where'd they go? Where they, uh, there they are. I see them. All right, guys. Stay tuned. So a nice little store here. So we're in another mall right off the, the road, Junil. All kinds of stores. And we're going to... The restaurant. Ah, we're almost at Christmas time. Even though in the States it should be Thanksgiving, the 20th of November. I've had I haven't had a good Thanksgiving dinner for like five, six years now. I've already gotten a point where I don't even think about Thanksgiving anymore. The first few years I lived here in Medellin, when Thanksgiving came around and I didn't eat the meal, I would get sad. Now I was like, eh, I don't even think about it anymore. Because there's restaurants here in Medellin that will actually you can go and you can buy a Thanksgiving plate. But that's, that doesn't make, it's not the same. Because when I think of Thanksgiving, I think of as much food as you can handle. And then you go rest, you go sleep, take a nap, and you come back and eat more food. As much as you can handle. That's what I think about Thanksgiving. Here, I don't want to buy just one plate of Thanksgiving food. And it's not even that good. It's not like mom's cooking. Anyways. Ran right on Thanksgiving. Let's go eat some food. I'm starving. Okay, so I'm following them and they took me out of the, the mall, Boulevard de Junin, and now we come out of the mall and we go to a different mall. So this is how my girlfriend gets around downtown from mall to mall, I guess. We're going to, what is it called? I don't know the name, but let's go inside. Hopefully this will be the place where we eat because I'm starving. Wow. Look at all this Christmas decoration. Beautiful. And you can win the car. Alright, we got reggaetoneros for Navidad. <laughs> That's hilarious. So, 
In Medellin, they love reggaeton. It's like a, what's it, a mecca of reggaeton here. All right, I lost them again. They don't like being on the camera, so they just keep on walking. Where they go? I see them, I see them, I see them. Let's go. <laughs> oh, look at these cakes. Nice. Very cool. So, they can't, they can't escape me. They can't escape me. I'm too good. Wow. This is Colombia, Medellin, a mall in the middle of downtown. You probably don't think about downtown Medellin and see this mall. Okay. Man, when will we get there? Sorry, lost my battery. Battery died. I was saying a lot of people come to the mall to bring their kids to play and I showed you guys the play area. Now let's get some food. Stay tuned. So here's all the options right here. So sopa mazorca, which is like corn, consomme, beans, fish, all kinds of stuff for 12,000 pesos. It's about four bucks or so. Not bad. I'll show you all the end results. Check out the fish, guys, with the head still on it. Delicious. All right. I'm going to pay this meal, and this is how it looks. Uh, 10,000 pesos, 2,000 pesos, 12,000 in total. About four bucks, something like that. Here's the beans. Yum, yum, yum. So real simple, guys. Uh, arroz de coco, so uh, coconut rice. Patecon, um, plantain, uh, ripe plantain, squished and fried, chicken, arepa. Be careful with these arepas, especially if they're cold. I wouldn't recommend eating them. Uh, I've heard that they that not this restaurant, but other restaurants re will reuse ones that have not been eaten. But it's a, it's a wise tale. It might not be true. And it's salad, so very healthy meal, bodybuilder diet right here.